In this video, I'll show how to paint the flat side of a Taddy A1 jig, as well as how to mix the pigment and use the syringes that come with the kit. You can see some examples of previous jig coating work here, but in this video, I'll coat the entire flat side of the jig in an attempt to mimic the natural bioluminescence that can be seen in some squid and other animals. I've placed the jig in a tray of salt. This is useful because the salt is hard enough to support the jig, but also soft enough that the jig can be pushed into it, allowing you to have a level surface to apply material to. Here, I'll be using a mixture of 2 grams of green pigment, and 2 mLs of resin, and 2 mLs of hardener. All of the containers have markings to guide you. First, measure out 2 grams of pigment into the mixing cup. Then, add 2 mLs of resin, and 2 mLs of hardener. The order in which you add materials does not matter, but you generally have about 15 minutes of time to work with the material once all the components are mixed together. After about 15 minutes, the material becomes increasingly viscous and will start to cure. Use the mixing stick that comes with the kit to mix the material. Try not to crush the pigment during the mixing process. Just mix it well enough so that it gets homogenized. Now you can use more or less pigment depending on how much of a glow effect you want or how you want to control the rate of self-leveling with this material, but whatever you choose, you have to use a one-to-one -one ratio of resin to hardener, which you see me measuring out here. Any other ratio that's not one-to-one -one will result in the coating not curing, so measure carefully. Again, in this video, I'm using two mLs of resin and two mLs of hardener to get that one-to-one -one ratio. You could just as easily use one mL of resin and one mL of hardener and vary the amount of pigment you use. But the combination of 2 grams of pigment and 2 mLs each of resin and hardener, it's a good combination that will comfortably let you coat an entire caddy 4-0 jig on its flat side or multiple A1s, which is about 5 square inches in total. I'll fast forward through the next minute as I mix the material before adding it to the syringe. Now the syringe can be used for finer detail work. Here I'll show how to fill up the syringe. Notice that I took the blunt needle off the end. This wasn't really necessary. I should have probably kept it on. But you can use the mixing stick uh, and cup to add material to the syringe. Purge the air out, as you see I'm doing here. And you can start adding lines or dots. They just need just a minute. Note, the syringe needle is single use. The material will eventually cure inside of it, and you won't be able to use it or remove it again. The syringe is also useful for more easily adding material around the rings and through holes. This can be done with the mixing stick as well, but it's a bit easier with the syringe. And again, I'll fast forward to the next few minutes. After I'm done adding dots, I'll take a 365 nanometer UV flashlight and charge the material. So this is an example of how you can mix the materials and use a syringe. But I typically like coating the entire flat side of my jig so I'll finish off this one with a mixing stick. Remember, this material is self-leveling. It doesn't take a lot of attention to detail to coat the jig. Just spread it on and cover the edge. It'll self-level right on its own. And don't worry, it will not cascade off the edges of the jig either, provided that the jig itself was level to begin with. Now I charge this material that you saw glowing with a 365 nanometer UV flashlight that I got from Amazon for about $20. You can pick up other models between 375 and 400 nanometers for less, but higher wavelength UV LEDs can take longer to charge your jig, sometimes much longer. With a 365 nanometer flashlight, it will only take a few seconds. Now you can also charge under direct sunlight or under an HPS lamp on a boat for a minute or two. Either way, once the jig is charged up, it will glow brightly for several hours. The coating itself will cure to a hard, smooth, and durable finish in about six hours. Thanks for watching the video.